Good Friday morning, everybody. It's Friday. Are you excited? I've got to work tomorrow, so it's not a real Friday for me, but it's still Friday. On my way to the truck, I am going to be starting up the beast this morning, the picker truck with the claw. We got some poles to deliver, so it should be a fun day. I'll see you there. Well, another day is here, but we're not going to be in that truck today. Or that truck. Or that truck. Or that one. This is our truck for today. It's got the big old claw on the back. And we'll bring some poles to someone who needs them. Hooked up to the pole trailer. I don't think we're going very far with it today. I think we're just delivering in Winnipeg, so it's not like we're going across the province or anything, but we do get to play with the crane. So that's always a fun day. We've got the tri-axle stretch trailer. I believe I'm picking up 65 foot poles. This is a 53 foot trailer. We'll have to stretch it out just a bit and it'll probably overhang on the back a little bit maybe. Figure it out when we get there. All right, he's over there grabbing my 65 footer. I've stretched this out uh, one hole. I'm just gonna make sure that I put it in the right one. Yes, I did. This pin over here was in that hole there. So I stretched it up one. I called up Anthony. He's the uh, other uh, picker truck driver. Just to ask how far he thinks I should spread it. And this is what he recommended. So he does this every day or almost every day. So that's why I called him. We're gonna get this thing on here. We'll be hanging over about six to eight feet somewhere in there. We'll see how he loads it. And uh, we'll have to flag it up front and back and a red flag at the back of the pole. There he comes over there. I'm gonna wait in the truck while he loads me. <coughs> truck is just a beast you just feel like a king driving this thing down the road this thing is a beast 65 feet so I'm gonna belly wrap it front and back and put two straps over the center just to keep it from bouncing around Mosey on over to the east side of Winnipeg. They want this in a new development there, uh, right by Lage Modier and Concordia, if you're familiar with Winnipeg. All right, so we are right at the front here. We stretched it out. This is probably, what, six feet? Five feet? Probably five feet. We got her belly wrapped up there around the bottom and over the top on both sides, sucked in on both sides, so it's not gonna roll back and forth. These in the middle are just to stop it from hopping in the middle and bouncing around. The same in the back here. And then we've got the flag on the back of the pole there. So I just talked to the receiver there. They're waiting for me. I'm going to unload this on the side of a very busy street. Ooh, we're long. We're really long. I hope everybody's paying attention to my flag on the end of my pole. I don't want anybody rear-ending me or running right into my pole. Close that window, it's a little bit chilly outside. I like the fresh air, but not too much, you know? So we don't need all the power that's uh, under the hood of this thing. It's got a big cat engine underneath there. We don't need all that power because we only got one pole, but it is a heavy pole. I mean, I'm telling you, it is heavy. I couldn't lift it, let's just say that. Let's go around this corner here. As long as everybody else is paying attention, you know? I got all my signs out, I got my flags out. And we're gonna wait. 
And we're gonna wait. Yep. Glad I did. <laughs> Thought I might have been able to make it, but I figured I better stop. All right, we're in a neighborhood that trucks shouldn't be in, but this is where I've got to go to deliver this pole. Got to turn right up ahead here. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. This will be really fun. I hope that guy's ready to back up. No, I'm not going to be able to make it around here. Oh my. Okay, now it's a big long lineup of cars. I'm just going to have to wait for the light. I mean, I don't think I could make that. I'll have to wait till they're all gone. I can't make them all back up. Okay, I'm go, 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 go. Get out of there. I can maybe make a right on the red here before more traffic. Come on. Come on. Okay. Now here we go. I'm gonna go like this. Our light's gonna turn green right away. I'm gonna give a little. We're good. Thank you. Thank you. Just gave a little toot going around there to grab their attention. Otherwise, people don't realize there's a big truck turning. Nobody pays attention. All right, where are we going now? Another corner just like that. new development here. Obviously they're in need of a, a pole for something. Just one though, just one. Not two, not three, not a whole load. No, just one. Okay, not this road coming up here. I'm about to make a lot of people upset. like a bigger intersection up here. Okay, that's all right. Traffic lights and stuff, very fancy. I didn't even know these greenhouses were here. Look at that. <laughs> nice townhomes though, eh? Okay, I'm gonna need this whole intersection again. I gotta turn right and it's a sharp right. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think I can make this corner. Nope. No, I can't make this corner. I'm gonna have to figure out a different way of getting in here. I'm gonna have to come from down there somewhere. Oh boy. All right, we're on Regent Avenue. We're gonna be turning left just up there. That's why I'm in this lane. With a load like this, I just get into the lane I'm gonna need to be in and I just hold that lane. That way I don't gotta mess around with traffic. That far right lane is closed anyways up there. Gas is still a dollar thirty-two a liter. I remember when that was British Columbia prices, and we used to laugh at them how expensive their gas was. Can't imagine how expensive it is out there now. It's ridiculous already. It should be talking to me here soon. I got my GPS on the cup holder. Bienvenue Street, which is French for welcome. 400 meters, turn left onto Bienvenue Street. Aye, aye, Captain. It'll be this next road over here. I wish they would have told me that in the first place. Like I said, they told me to go around the other way and I can't make that corner. They told me I could. That's why I called ahead. <laughs> Call ahead. Can I make this corner? Oh yeah, trucks do it all the time. <laughs> Not trucks like this. 
All right, we're gonna go down this little, little street right here. Excuse me. This truck does not turn nearly as sharp as mine. There we go, made it across. Nobody has hit my pole thus far. That is good. I have it labeled and flagged out there probably, so people better be paying attention. It's always stuff being built everywhere. Always, there are more stuff being built over here. Always building stuff. I guess it's good, keeps people working, right? But I'm just like wondering, like, where are all these people coming from? <laughs> like that building there is gonna hold, what, a thousand people probably? That's a thousand people. Wow. Gonna turn left here. Transcona Boulevard. Fitting as we are going through Transcona. Is it a suburb? I don't know, Transcona. It used to be a town, now it's just part of the greater Winnipeg area. Oh, oh, where did you come from? You were in my blind spot. See, that's why I stop and look twice. Here comes a pickup. Heads up, buddy. Heads up, here I come. Okay, so now we're on the right, that right street. We can just drive straight through that intersection that I couldn't turn right on before. And it's a much better road, look at this. This is why I always say don't trust your GPS, call ahead. But sometimes even when you call ahead like I did, sometimes uh, you end up in a, well, I'm not really in a pickle, but uh, you know, you end up in places where you can't go. I'm already gonna be going down this street up ahead after those lights. I'm gonna be on a street where normally trucks wouldn't be allowed. And uh, that means I'm not supposed to be there. Which is gonna be fun, because I'm gonna have to block the road to unload this pole. The guys at the site there said they're gonna manage traffic for me. So at least there'll be that. Otherwise it's, like this is busy. Like all these people here, all these townhomes, like they're beautiful townhomes, but Lots of people around here, and since it's a developing neighborhood, not all of the roads have been, uh, you know, properly expanded yet. They, they built the, the neighborhood before they finished the ex road expansions in some cases. But they're getting there, they're working on it. Okay, so this is the road we went through that way before, right? We couldn't make that right turn. It was way too sharp of a corner, and that light pole for the traffic lights was right on the curb. There's no way I could have dragged this 65 foot pole on my trailer around that. So you'll see what I mean. We're not supposed to be going through this neighborhood, but uh, normally. Here we go. Much easier. See, you just go straight through. Okay, I can turn the GPS off now. All right, this should be fun. Oh, and everybody's parked on the street too. And there's oncoming traffic. This is fun. This is fun, yep. I'm gonna let that Jeep get through here. He's way over there. I'm gonna let him come all the way through here. And I definitely don't wanna hit that dirt there for any reason. Uh, Cause that looks freshly laid. There's probably grass seeded there or going to be seeded there. all these people uh, make way for me. I'm gonna put my hazards on so they know I'm big. Oh, that guy's not gonna be able to go anywhere. He's backing out. What you gonna do, bud? This is not gonna work. What are you gonna do? I can try to get out of your way as much as I can, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. That's all I can give you. Is that enough? That enough? Yeah, they're gonna make it through. All right, worked out. I don't know why these poles are, these cones are here. There you go, ah, everybody's happy. And I didn't even hit that cone like a boss. 
I wait. Whoa, whoa, here comes another guy. Didn't look. Didn't look down the road. Where are you gonna go, bud? You're gonna have to get out of the way. There you go. Yeah, he's gonna go in there. Ah, smart. Smart. He's gonna get out of the way. You're gonna have to give me a little more space than that, though. Somewhere down here. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go up on the gravel a little bit here, I guess. At least it's not fresh dirt. Okay. Slowly, slowly, just getting here. Oh boy. All right, so uh, there's my guy up there. He's gonna manage traffic for me. Talk to you guys in a bit here, okay? Figure out what I'm gonna do. I had to get in and out of there fast. So the pole's off already. It was such, such a small residential street like you saw. I had to be in there for as little time as possible, so I just quickly got the pole off, and uh, now we're empty. I, I squished the trailer back together here. I'm just gonna take off my D signs. After this, I just gotta roll up the one on the front as well. Put them away, because if I don't have an oversized load or overdimensional load, and I still leave these on and displayed, that's a big ticket. So you only use them when you need them. Sort of like when you have a giant pole hanging eight foot off the back of your trailer. You know, some people might need a little bit of an extra warning. Like, hey, watch out. Danger. I always walk along the curb side of the truck so that I'm not putting myself in the line of traffic and you know, I don't get hit by someone who's texting and driving. Am I talking to you? I don't know. I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's you. I'm just saying some people out here are texting and driving and you sort of gotta work defensively. Here comes a whole bunch of cars, so I'm gonna wait for them. In the meantime, I can take this one off the front. to Thief River Falls yet this afternoon. So it's uh, 7.30. <laughs> I gotta grab fuel, because I'm almost out of fuel there. I gotta go to Thief River again tomorrow on Saturday. Uh, we're busy, like I keep saying, we're busy, busy. We need drivers. You guys wanna come help us out? <laughs> we're busy. We got a guy over there backing her in. I'm gonna give him some, give him his space over there. He's like jackknifing that thing. You think you can get it in that hole, man? That's pretty tight. Alrighty, Mr. Flying J, I need some go-go juice. Fill me up, I need lots. Okay, I'm guessing we're probably gonna have about another thousand dollar fill up here. What do you guys think? Oh, 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 don't hit anything. Don't hit anything, that is the goal every day. Don't hit anything. So yes, you've seen how busy we are, we're busy. Working tomorrow as well. It won't be as long of a day. I've got to do one run down to Thief River Falls. Lots of work. Lots of work if you're looking for work. I know everybody's looking for drivers, but not everybody is the best place to work. That's that's us. I'm sorry. There can only be one best. Best one, I'm sorry. <laughs> On duty uh, fueling. Here we go. Let the government know what I'm doing. And nosy people. I'm going to fuel it up. You guys think about whether or not you want to work here, alright? Let me know. Final total, 975 big ones for 745-ish liters. Whew. That's one week. And I didn't even fill them right up to the top. I don't fill these tanks up to the top. You know, I just fill it till they click off and then I hang up the nozzle. 
and uh, you don't want to fill up your tanks too much, but I could have easily fit well over a thousand dollars into the tanks. I know, even my phone is like, what? You hear that? Yeah. It's another week in my life. When I was on the highway, I'd go through that in two days. Oh, another long day. And we're gonna do it all over again tomorrow. Minus the picker truck part stuff in the morning. We're gonna skip that. We're just gonna go straight to Thief River. But I'm gonna come in a little later than I usually do. Uh, Cause I just got one trip there and back. It's just some Saturday work. So uh, I guess I'll see you guys then, eh? That should be fun.